I am glad to have an opportunity at this time of crisis of addressing so many thousands of people whom I cannot meet face to face. On many grounds, we may commend the budget to the country. It makes provision for the present. It makes greater provision for the future. Indirect taxation is at its lowest proportion, and food taxes are at their lowest since the South African War. The working classes, at least, have no reason to complain. Nothing in the budget touches the physical efficiency of labor. Nothing in the budget touches the economy of the cottage home. Middle class people with between 300 and 2,000 pounds a year are not affected to any considerable degree, and in some cases they are distinctly benefited. The very rich are not singled out for peculiar, special, or invidious burdens. The main increase in the present year is placed upon the main body of the wealthy classes of this country, a class which in numbers and in wealth is much greater than in any equal community, if not indeed in any other modern state in the whole world, and that class which enjoys more than any other opportunities for pleasure has more to gain than anyone else from dwelling amid a healthy and contented people and in a safely guarded land. We do not, however, attempt to deny that the budget raises some of the deepest issues which divide parties in British politics. We do not want to embitter those issues, but neither do we wish to hide them. The Conservative Party believes that the revenue of the country can be better raised by a protective tariff. We are convinced, on the other hand, that the free trade system alone will stand the strain of modern times and alone will yield the expansive power which is necessary. The policy of the Conservative Party is to impose taxes not only on tea and sugar, but also upon bread and meat, not merely, that is to say, on luxury and comfort, but even upon articles of prime necessity. Our policy is not to increase, but wherever possible to decrease, and ultimately to abolish altogether the taxes upon articles of food and necessaries of life. Their taxation will make food dearer. Our taxation will make land cheaper. That is our policy. That is the issue. Choose for yourselves. Winston Churchill.